Yesterday, a severe geomagnetic storm alert was issued for New York State by the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration. And Governor Kathy Ogle even took to social media confirming she was aware of that storm and its potential impacts to the state. So what is a geomagnetic storm? We have a professor here to talk more about that, John Crisides from UB. John, thank you for joining us here. I'm going to give you the baton to tell us, you know, what this is exactly. So a geomagnetic storm is basically a solar activity and it's a solar flare. And we're right now we're at the peak season. It's an 11 year season. And what that causes is radiation that interacts with the magnetic field, and that's why I call it a geomagnetic storm. And that could potentially affect our electronics. And it's happened, some bad events have happened in the past where uh, millions of people have lost power. How are we able, we as in humans from this earth, able to uh, gauge and measure these geomagnetic storms? And then could you talk a little bit about some of the different levels, like why this one was considered serious versus others? Right, so we've got a lot of sensors in space and we, we study the sun a lot, obviously over the last uh, 50 or so years. And the, the geo scale, in terms of what you just mentioned, there's basically five levels, uh, G1 through G5. Uh, this was considered G4, which is pretty severe. In 1859, there was a G5 event that took out all the telegraphs throughout the entire world, actually burned paper too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, do you have any idea if this did anything to any infrastructure here in New York State that you're aware of this specific storm? No, it, did, it didn't do anything here. Okay. When we talk about these storms, there was a period that NOAA, the that NOAA had issued over the weekend saying this was imminent and this is typically how long it lasts. How often, because probably everyday people, they don't know what the geomagnetic weather is out there in space, of course. So people every day are just going through their lives not knowing that this is happening. How frequent is it? You were saying right now we're at the peak season. Right, so this actually goes on every day, actually. Uh, the Earth is constantly bombarded by the sun's uh, radiation power. So. It just happens right now we're at the peak season, again, at the top of the 11-year season. But uh, we're, we're very well protected. Our the biggest concern is satellites. Like uh, in 2022, Starlink lost 20 some satellites because of this. Mm. Wow. Okay. And I think a lot of people probably heard yesterday there was the potential mm. if you got in a very dark area without, um, you know, light pollution, you could maybe see the northern lights. That was because of this geomagnetic storm, right? Why is that? So that's, it's typically in the northern latitudes and because it, the interaction with the atmosphere and the air density, it causes light. And that's a beautiful sight to see. And because it's more active now in the southern region because of these storms, yeah, you have the potential to see it in Iowa and Chicago and places like that. Hmm. I don't think it's gonna happen, but yeah. maybe. And what's interesting about that is if you look at the different levels, as you were mentioning before, John, G1 through G5, G1 is pretty much at the top of the globe is all you can see it. A G5 storm would be like they could see the aurora feasibly in Florida, right? As far south as Florida? Sure, actually you can as far south as Columbia. Wow, so yes. even further south. Yes. That's how powerful that is. Well, we have you here at a good time because there's a lot of things going on out there in space, of course. Not only the total solar eclipse on April 8th, but tonight there is a celestial happening, although much smaller when we compare it to the total solar eclipse. What is happening tonight? I don't know. <laughs> so isn't there a partial lunar eclipse tonight? Oh, partial lunar the, eclipse, the yes. Right. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, so that's, that's a going to be a great event. I always love lunar eclipses and uh, the, but the big event obviously is going to be in a couple of weeks, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. Well, we're very excited for that. And thank you so much for all that good information. We appreciate it. Thank you.